Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girlfriend Lungu Vak with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. So today I'm going to be reacting to uh, that Arabic word, Habok the Cosmic Web. Um, I have no idea what this is about, but it's um but thank you to the person that suggested this and this video is going to be in three parts because it's quite long so yeah thank you for subscribing and just thank you for watching without wasting time let's get into the video go for main engine, go for main engine start we have main engine start two one booster ignition and the final liftoff of discovery the shuttle has cleared the tower the production of this film has been made possible by a generous funding from Badur Charitable Foundation. They have been at ride into orbit. Discovery now making one last reach for the stars. Reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes supersonic. Discovery Houston, you are go at throttle up. Discovery's engines are now throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure. Will Commander Steve Lindsay acknowledging the call from Capcom Charlie Hoba as Discovery's three main engines throttle back up. T minus 16 seconds. Sound suppression water system has been activated. Pad from protecting Two Discovery and the launch. We have a go for main engine start. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, hoisting harmony to the heavens and opening new gateways for international science. Discovery has cleared the tower. Lift off, lift off, indeed. To some people, this is truly the moment of illumination in the story of modern science. A full rounded, four dimensional moment that triggered into an almost totally new dimension man's age old quest for answers to a few existential questions. Where did we come from? How did this happen? And what is our destiny? Questions among many that persistently preoccupied our human race since time immemorial. Ancient myths created by that quest were the outcome of many a civilization. Philosophers and early scientists, driven by human curiosity centuries ago, have had their fair share of search and research. When darkness reigned, even before the advent of the Middle Ages, those mind expeditions were destined to gain new ground. For a few centuries, a remarkable contribution was made to the birth of modern age. But when the torch was about to die out, a few courageous men had ultimately managed, against all odds, to pick up the torch and eventually the pursuit for scientific answers acquired a new momentum. And over the last hundred years, man's quantum leap into almost all realms of knowledge has caused a close encounter to happen for the first time on another world. The engine stop. We copy you down, Eagle. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. One small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Since that defining moment, mankind is still pushing the cosmic envelope into brave new dimensions of science, discovery, and imagination. A free leap into space in an artist impression seems almost the only gateway to the heavens, a driving force behind man's burning desire to fly out and away to see and know his place in the universe. He is there now, overtaken by awe and wonder, trying to ascend through what seemed for long forbidding frontiers around those cosmic gates, the gates of heaven. If we were to open for them a gate into heaven, and they proceeded to ascend through it, they would say, 
Our eyes have been bedazzled. Rather, we are a bewitched people. 1515 Heavens perfectly built and adorned is a spectacle that moves sentiments to a graceful awe and wonder. And this doesn't happen only for poets, but not surprisingly, for scientists too. Physicist Michio Kaku reminisces about Einstein's reaction to that perfection. Einstein believed in the God of order, harmony, beauty, simplicity, and elegance. That's the God that he believed in because he thought the universe was so gorgeous it didn't have to be that way. It could have been chaotic. It could have been ugly, messy. Order, harmony, beauty, simplicity, and elegance are perceptive descriptions of a universe that is also well-structured. With an ever-expanding universe, one question keeps ringing. How does the universe hold its pieces together in such expansive formation? Physicist Brian Green from Columbia University tells us the beginning of the story. As the story goes, one day in 1665, a young man was sitting under a tree when, all of a sudden, he saw an apple fall from above. And with that fall of that apple, Isaac Newton revolutionized our picture of the universe. In an audacious proposal for his time, Newton proclaimed that the force pulling apples to the ground and the force keeping the moon in orbit around the Earth were actually one and the same. In one fell swoop, Newton unified the heavens and the Earth in a single theory he called gravity. Newton claimed that in writing the Principia, I had an eye upon such principles as might work with considering men for the belief of a deity. He saw evidence of design in the system of the world. He wrote, such a wonderful uniformity in the planetary system must be allowed the effect of choice. Hence, no coincidence.
Newton's dictum seemingly recalls a part from verse 22, chapter 65 of the Quran. It is he who upholds the heaven in place, so it does not fall to the earth, except by his permission. Brian Green went on to add that if the sun disappears, the gravitational disturbance that results will form a wave that travels across the spatial fabric in much the same way that a pebble dropped into a pond makes ripples that travel across the surface of the water. So we wouldn't feel a change in our orbit around the sun until this wave reached the earth. Newton believed that God alone upholds the sun and the planets in harmony by the sheer force of gravity that God created and he discovered, thus saving the solar system from falling upon itself. Although the laws of motion and universal gravitation became Newton's best known discoveries, he warned against using them to view the universe as a mere machine, as if akin to a great clock. He said, gravity explains the motions of the planets, but it cannot explain who set the planets in motion. God governs all things and knows all that is or can be done. And this is going to be an interesting um, video. Already I guess that I really didn't think it would be about this. But do you guys believe that the earth is round or is it just round like a ball or is it just flat, flat out? Because there's this conversation on the internet where people disagree as how the formation of the earth is. Are you people that believe it's flat or are you people that believe it's round? and um it's really interesting to actually think about how um the sun doesn't fall down it's just up there the moon the other planet it's very very interesting and i think life has been proved on certain uh, planets as well which says a lot of things it really says a lot of things that that are very very interesting for people that believe we're the only like human beings living out there, there could be other creatures on other lands that you're not even aware of. Otherwise, like I said, I had no idea the video would be about this and I'm excited to see what the rest of the video will be about.